Hello guys, William Agnew here and welcome back to the next part of your training and what we're going to be talking about in this particular part of the training is obviously like we said before, we're going to continue to build on what we learned in the previous part. And what we learned in the previous part was about electron flow and current flow. Now with electron flow and current flow and positive and negative charges allowing uh, electrons and current to flow, what we need to understand is when it flows, what exactly does it flow on and what does that mean and how is it done? Well, the word conductivity is something that we have to take in consideration, all right? So if you look at the, the presentation, what you'll see is there are two types of vocabulary words from a conductivity standpoint that we want to understand. We un want to understand the word conductor and we want to understand the word insulator and what does that mean exactly? Well, if you look at conductor, conductor basically means to enable current to flow easily. So if you think about that in a circuit form, which kind of what you're looking at as the example on this page is a incomplete circuit. It's actually a circuit that has a opening uh, right at the very top right here. So you can see this is a circuit and the conductivity would actually be represented here. What is this electro electrical or e uh, energy flowing on and how conductive is it in, in regards to conductivity, all right? So again, you have a conductor which enables current to flow and you have an insulator which does not allow current to flow at all. I'll give you guys an example. If you look at this particular wire right here, what you'll see is this is a wire. And this particular part of the wire, what's gonna happen is the battery is going to be connected here just like you see in the, uh, in the example. So your battery will be connected here which is then going to, uh, if you look at the positive, the positive is the side that the battery, the positive side is going to push current down this particular part of the, of the wire, all right? Now, with that being said, as it applies to what we're learning about conductivity, that wire on the inside is typically gonna be made of, uh, you know, ideally the best conductors, some of the best conductors are things like copper. So if this is a copper wire, then obviously that, e that voltage uh, that positive voltage is going to push the current down this particular wire. Now, the conductivity of that wire is, is good. That is a good conductor of electricity, probably copper, which is a great conductor of electricity, but it's on the inside. So what happens is when we touch this wire, the electricity doesn't impact us because our bodies are also great conductors of electricity. So if there was enough voltage coming through here and we actually touched it here, the current would then take the path of least resistance. And if we were good conductors, if we are a better conductor of electricity than this, and there's enough of those electrons that we talked about earlier flowing, if it's a big enough voltage pushing a big enough current, then we could essentially have the current run through us and it could be life threatening to us if it were enough. So what we have on this particular wire is what we call a insulator, okay? And that insulator is keeping us because it doesn't allow current to flow, it's keeping us safe. So even though we touch this wire, we're touching the insulated part of the wire which does not allow electricity to flow at all. And on the inside, you actually have the wire which and it enables electricity to actually flow. So that's what I really want you guys to understand, the difference between a good conductor, which would be the wire on the inside that's probably made of copper, and a insulator, which would re represent the plastic or the rubber on the outside, which does not allow current to flow at all, okay? Does that make sense? Now, in the next part of this training, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do an example of that. We're gonna show you guys, we're actually gonna build this, uh, this circuit, and then at the bottom, what you guys will see here is the electrical conductivity, which conductor, which are conductors, and which are insulators. So what I want you guys to do right now is just from what you know, before you even look at the next video, which is gonna be an example of this, go ahead and decide whether a paper clip, a paper clip, so go ahead and decide whether a paper clip is a good conductor of electricity. Uh, decide whether a pencil is a good conductor of electricity. How about a piece of paper? Is that a good conductor of electricity? What about a key or a coin? Are those good conductors of electricity? What about your finger? If we put our finger across this open circuit from this dot at the very top to this dot on the other side, right, across here, would our finger actually close this circuit and make this light come on, all right? Would that happen? What about foil? If we turn this, this light on and we apply this battery and we put foil across these two uh, open uh, dots, would it, um, would it allow the light to come on. So we're gonna do this example in the next video to help you guys get a visual understanding 
of exactly the concepts that we've talked about in this particular video. So this is William Agnew. If you have any questions, please write them at the bottom, let us know, and I'll be talking to you guys in the next video, showing you guys a video example of conductivity. What's good, what's bad, what's not. Uh, not really what's good and what's bad, but what's an insulator? What's a good conductor of electricity? What's a bad conductor of electricity? Uh, what's an insulator? And what is not? What's a conductor? All right. I'll see you guys in the next part of the training.